Once we are seen to as a Bentley user and we have associated the work set to a project, we can use the following service in the collaboration group. We will continue creating an I model. An I model holds information about a single infrastructure asset. I model may contain physical and functional model, drawing, specification, analytical model, and so on for consistently and standardization of data coming from various applications. Select Open iTwin under Collaboration Group. This opens the iModel Manager page that helps you to create and configure iModel for use with iTwin service. Here, click Create iModel. And now we need to enter the name a description, you can change the cover and identify the area if you want and click in create. If we select iModel tab, this open the iModel hub. iModel hub acts as a central repository of the most recent data from different resources. As a project advance, changes are recorded and it becomes very simple to track change set for the project lifecycle at any given point of time. Here we have the I model for the corridor RAM B. Now from MicroStation we can open the design file we want to add to I model. Just we create. And now we will synchronize the I model with the design. Continue. In Collaborate tab, in the Collaboration group, we will select the Sync to iTwin tool. This opens iTwin Synchronizer. The iTwin Synchronizer allows you to take your first step in moving your design data into a digital twin. The iTwin Synchronizer push and synchronize your design data to an iModel in the iModel hub. This tool launches the iTunes Synchronizer desktop application, which is a close-based design collaboration tool. Select the correct project and click Create Connection to define a new connection. Connection exists to transform data from other data format into iModel. Combined with Connection, you are able to push and synchronize design data both from Belly application are three-party design application. Many connections can be associated with a single I model, and hence the resulting I model become an aggregator of many resources of data. Type a connection name and select the I model we want to use and add the design file. And click next. First time that you create a connection, the iModel connector needs to be enabled for this connection. This project was created with MicroStation, OpenROAD, and OpenBuilding. So we need to enable the MicroStation, Civil, and OpenBuilding iModel connector. Click Enable to do it. This do need some time to create. When connection has been created, click Save. Select now the connection just create to create the first synchronization. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.